Hello and welcome to 101 Ideas for Minecraft Learners. Uh, here we are, uh, in the middle of the ocean by the look of it, uh, and we've got to an island, and this one is called Welcome to Poetry Island, and indeed that is what this episode is called. It's called Poetry Island, and if we're, we're going to have a little look around, so there's a nice swimming pool over there, and some beautiful flowers, and you might not recognise some of these flowers because we're actually using the snapshot. Okay, so I thought I'd uh, I'll do some videos using the first snapshot. We've got a little beach towel and we've got a bit of watermelon. We've got what looks like a cassette and a book and quill. A cassette, that's interesting. So let's have a little look around. Some, oh, that's some uh, sunflowers there. Uh, we've got a little kind of a deck chair. Let's open these doors. We've got a chest. <coughs> And uh, we've got a music player. So maybe those, um, maybe those, those cassettes do something. Let's have a look over here. We've got fishing tackle. It's a bit of fishing there. Let's open this up, and we can see we've got uh, some sp some uh, clownfish, a book and a quill, and a fishing rod, and, and some spoken words as well. Cassette thing. Oh, I've got two on there already. So let's take uh, this cassette out of here, and. Um, Let's put it into our player and see what happens. So let's go over here. We're gonna. Okay, let's put it in here. Netherland by Maria Douse. A wispy plain at sunset. An icy river at dawn. Heat waves in the desert. The snowfields glisten all morn. Never ending oceans. Creatures of fire and flame. Bubbling pools of lava. Life will never be the same. My Minecraft travels delight me. They feed my wanderlust. Inspire me to travel. Netherland or bust. So there's some audio poetry from Maria Douse, and you can find a link to her YouTube channel in the description below uh, with her from her channel Derp Guru. So there's that one. Let's have a let's, let's break this open here. Let's grab that cassette here. So there's another cassette down here. Let's put this in there as well and see what this one does. Let's, let's, let's pop that one in. The Head by Joey Douse. I fought my mum with a diamond sword and she fell to the ground and I got her head as a reward. My goodness, that's terrible. <laughs> Not a terrible poem, just a terrible idea <laughs> to get your mum's head. So how have I done this? We've got Poetry, literally poetry that is coming out of the kind of the record player, okay, uh, from these little cassettes. These cassettes, in actual fact, are records. So if we have a look at them, we can see that it says C418 and it's uh, got the word blocks on it. And this one's got CA14 and it's got cats. What I've done is I've spoken, I've changed the language file to spoken words. Um, and I've also changed the sound within that file. Normally these would play the CA14 tracks Cat and Blocks, uh, but what I've done is I've swapped them out using a resource pack. So if we have a look at options and go down to resource packs, we see here I've created something called the Poetry Island Pack, uh, and this is a template pack for Minecraft 1.6. Uh, so yeah, so I've re I've rejigged some of the uh, some of the files within a resource pack, my own resource pack, which means that we have the opportunity uh, to basically go in here and Netherland by Maria play some different sounds. Uh, and what it means is, of course, I mean, uh, what I've done is in this poetry island, I've I've got lots of hiding places for poetry, so it's a bit of an adventure map. So down here underneath. Uh, underneath the swimming pool, there's another uh, there's another chest, and there's, there's there's some poetry in there. And let's swim up to the top, swim up to the top. Um, over here, I've got a little graveyard, a little kind of a last poor Yorick kind of grave, and down there, there's a there's another little uh, chest, and that can be full of stuff. That did used to be a picture of Byron. I don't know what's quite happened to it, but there you go. So there's another one in there. Uh, we can have, and I'm uh, reading that's a record, you can kind of see that. And so the idea is really uh, to create your own audio poems and uh, turn them into uh, OG files and then put those files, in, oh, there's one over there as well, put those files in and around a, uh, a Minecraft map so people can kind of go and discover them for themselves. So take a look at your resource packs and open the resource pack folder and we'll take a look inside. 
uh, on a Mac or on a PC and you can kind of see um, all my resource packs that I've got there. Most of them are zipped up uh, but I've got mine just in a folder. I'm just going to double click that folder and show you inside. Uh, so what we've got is we've got uh, a structure a bit like this. So we've got a folder with called assets, we've got a pack image, okay it's a PNG file and we've got uh, a little um, executable uh, metadata if you like called pack.mc meta. Now in this tutorial what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to show you how to do this kind of stuff. I will point you in, in the right direction and show you uh, other people's uh, tutorials and how they did it. Okay, So you can kind of do this stuff for yourself. What this tutorial is really about is giving you ideas and giving you ideas about creating your own poetry island. Yeah, so let's just have a look inside the assets folder. Inside the assets folder we've got another folder called Minecraft and in Minecraft then we've got things uh, the things that we have changed so I've changed the the sounds of the records okay um, and I used audacity to change the sounds for that um, I changed the textures I actually changed a painting um, I, changed, I put a Byron painting down there okay um, and I also changed the uh, record um, blocks so they, they actually look like cassette tapes and also changed the language so instead of uh, uh, record I think it was it actually says spoken words so that's how I changed all of these different things um, and then obviously when you go back into press done and done and back to game when we go in we can see that it says spoken words and we can see that the changes have all been made so it could be really exciting, the different kind of things you could do with this. So you could have poetry, you could have stories, you could have lots and lots of different types of audio content. And also not only audio content, but you could also design your own uh, pixels and your own objects as well to find. Uh, so I think it's really exciting. And uh, I do hope that anybody else has got any more Minecraft ideas for poems and stuff like that. If you want to, do send them along. I will put them on this map or hide them somewhere in here. I've got some more hiding places. I've got this one down here, for example. Um, and then I will add your poems uh, to this pack. And then I'll release the pack on something like Planet Minecraft or something like that. Uh, so until next time, thanks very much for listening. Goodbye! Let's do something. Let's have a look over here. Fishing tackle. Some fishing there. Let's open this up and we can see we've got uh, some, some uh, clownfish, a book and a quill, and a fishing rod, and some spoken words as well, cassette thing.